Normandy, that was for colored people in Minneapolis, you know, gangs, and he grew up in like blood territory, I would say, which is a highly like gang related area of Minneapolis. And so I think he was really subject to those type of uh, ways of living. And so I think that that sort of projects fear onto me as his daughter, as and he has tattoos, you know, and how the world sees him. And if I'm writing with him, or if I see a cop, it's sort of like that subconscious fear. But now I feel like since I've since I've grown and I've gotten to know cops personally and professionally, um, my cousin actually married a cop. He's been a cop for 20 years. Acting was a fear that was instilled with you in your with your father, but that's what happens. This, this history that gets passed down, and then you. Um, took it upon yourself to build a personal relationship with the cops in your community. My dad got stopped so many times by cops for no reason. And like, I'm just like, oh wow, it's because he's black, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so one time, my dad, his white friend, we were with him and his kids, and like, they were driving, we got pulled over. Like, the white man didn't get arrested, nothing. He was good. And so like me just, I don't know, looking onto that, it's just hard because like us black people, you know, there's a lot going on. All right. So she speaks through her art. That's what happens. I love it. And that's important. That's why we have this um, space because we have different styles of speaking and communicating. And so thank you so much. But everything you say is valuable.